Good evening, ladies and gents. Here is another TARDIS console build diary. Um, now, I've been very busy uh, painting some very small details on this console, and it's <laughs> it's played havoc with my eyes, I must say. Um, but I've, I've done some, so I'm going to show you and explain you, to you what I've done. Okay, so here we go. Now, at first glance, it doesn't look like much has changed. However... I've painted the, the spaces in the centre here uh, red. Those took a, a while to do. It was very painstaking, but all those are now done. And also, underneath, we have a fully painted bottom. Yes, that's right. All this is done as well. So you have the indentations of the console base painted there, as you can see. I'm just trying to be careful because I haven't varnished this yet. So that it's it's still protecting the paint. There you go. So those are painted. Very neat. And the same with the underneath of the console. I haven't obviously glued this together. Same with the underneath the console. All nice straight lines there, all painted. There we go. So yes. Let's see if we can just stand that there. It's obviously going to be there we go so that looks the part now especially with those painted details there and there so there we go that's the... now how have i done this now i wrap my brains trying to decide how to do this the best way um i was going to tackle it, tackle it with a paintbrush and then i decided against it because I thought it's, I, I, I have some fine detail brushes. And you can do it that way if you want to. But I wasn't feeling too confident about it personally. Um, really because in the, in, the very, in the crevices, especially in those where I've painted those fine red lines. Um, the 3D printed detail is there. So if you put watered paint in there it's just going to run into there and there's no telling where the paint could run or anything like that so what did i do well i got my airbrush out and i got my masking tape out and i did each one of those red pieces on the uh, the console dais where that, that surrounds the time water i did each one of those individually <laughs> with an airbrush um painstaking but I found it was the best and neatest way that I could get a, a, a perfect straight line. Just literally um, putting pieces of um, the masking tape into place with the airbrush done. Next one and on and on and on. Um, and obviously, oh, let's, let's have a look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of those. And there's six sides of the console, so that's sixty of those. I had to, I, I did with the airbrush, um, and I whizzed round them. It's the best way um, I found personally. You can do it with a paintbrush, and I know some of you will be very, be, very capable. But I just didn't feel confident doing it with the airbrush. Uh, sorry, with the with the paintbrush. So I did it with the airbrush. Um, same with the underneath the indentations the darker gray sections i did that with the airbrush as well to get straight neat lines um again can do it with an air uh, paintbrush if you want i did it with an airbrush um and i'm i'm very pleased with the result um yeah i'm very pleased with that as you can see it's all neat it's all there it's all how it should be um so what's next um, I'm probably going to fit the door lever, which you remember in the one of the build diaries. I I made made them with a piece of metal wire. Um, I'm gonna make I'm probably fit that next, and then paint some more of the details and the screens. Um, so yeah, it's all coming along a treat. I've still got to do that silver edging around the console. Um. There's that to do. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that with the airbrush because there's it's it's again it's it's getting the masking tape in the way to in 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 the right position. It's it's not easy as I found today with certain things. So yeah, that's where it is now. 
Um, let's have one more final look at it, shall we? So there we go. There was those red painted sections there. The time water's uh, on, on the other side of my room, so that because obviously I didn't need it for any anything that I was doing today. But there's there's red painted sections there. All neatly done. So I, I can honestly say if I'd done this with a paint brush, I would have caught, you know, paint could have ran, it could have run out into these sections, whereas the airbrush, it's just zipped straight along and I've done it. And the same goes for the bottom. Those are perfectly straight lines all the way around it and all painted the nice gray, darker grey to the lighter grey and same for the underneath as well. It looks the part and that's what all you need to do. So there we go. That being said, I'm off and I will see you tomorrow, guys. Good night.